Hello Viking Sports followers. Uh, so today we're back with another interview, sticking with the snooker theme. We've got amateur Connie Stevens coming on today to talk to us, um, get to know her a little bit better and uh, ask her some of the questions that we've had come in to you guys. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get her in and uh, we'll start the interview. Just give me a few moments. Hello, you okay? Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm very well. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Good. You enjoying the snooker? Yeah, it's it's good final. They seem a bit nervous though. Yeah, I think they I think they'll be a bit cagey, won't they? Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. So thank you for joining us today. Um so obviously we've had quite a few questions come in, which we'll get to in a moment. Yeah. Um just wanted to really just start off with um getting to know you a bit better. So how you got into snooker to start with? Uh, well, basically, um, I was about about 11, 12, and I just started playing pool. My dad used to take me to the clubs all the time. And um, about 13, 14, I, I started watching snooker, and I was like, I want to be like Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, Ronnie's the main reason, and then my dad and my brother, they're... Yeah they're into snooker as well so I have a kind of a snooker family yeah and and from obviously starting up the snooker have you have you set yourself any sort of targets to try and hit within within the women's game yeah a lot um I'm setting myself that I want to get into the top 10 in the next few years if covid uh ends yeah <laughs> and um then I want to um I want to win a, I want to win a, a big tournament. But um, getting into the top ten is my main aim at the minute. Yeah. So as as um, I've said to you, we've, we've had a, a couple of questions come in. So yeah. we'll start off. We will start off with some of the uh, the, the simpler ones, and we'll start yeah. going to the, the more complicated <laughs> ones. So we've yeah. got one here, which is, uh, what's your favourite snooker player of all time? My favourite snooker player, there's there's three actually. Ronnie being one, he's just an all time great. Um, Mark Selby for his temperament and his safety play and just how granite he is. Um, and then third will have to be um, Judd Trump. It's just yeah. he's class. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's really taken uh, you know, the the whole tour by by his hands now and he's yeah he's one to be be up there, isn't he now? He's one to beat at the minute. Definitely. And with sticking with that, that kind of theme, uh yeah. who's who's your biggest inspiration within within the snooker world? Um getting me into snooker and helping me into snooker. Um, my brother. Because me and him always play snooker together whenever whenever we're free. And um, then my coach, he helps me a lot, Gary Filtness. Yep. He helps me a hell of a lot. He's he's brought me a long, a long way. And then um, to who to be like will have to be Ronnie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And is there anyone in, in particular in, in the women's game that you, you look Rianne. at? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's... She's one to she, look she, at for 12 times world champion. She's she's amazing. Yeah, no, definitely. And obviously we've got a, another question here. Uh, what is your favourite tournament that's actually um, available on the women's tour? So which one would you say um, is your favourite out there? Well, the world, because everyone wants to win that. We went to Thailand... Um, last year it was really fun um, then the ones in Leeds are really good the UK championships and the and Belgium as well Belgium's really fun so they're my main three yeah and with your your snooker play obviously a lot of players uh, try as hard as they can to practice yeah. every day what's your schedule like at, at the moment well, I work a lot. I work in a snooker actually, but I'm starting a new job as a teacher's assistant in January. So um, I don't get to practice as much as the play, uh, like all the other players do. But I, whenever, whenever I have free time, it's always on the table. Yeah. Yeah. 
And you mentioned there Gary Filtner. So obviously he's he's a coach there. So how yeah. how often are you you teaming up and, and meeting up and, and practicing? Um, I normally go to him when I when I can. I normally go to him about three times in the month. Okay. So like every Thursday, Wednesday in the month, and then um, whatever he's taught me, I go on the table and I do that. And if I need if I need feedback or more help, I go to him then. Okay, that's yeah. good. And and do you do you enjoy the practice element? Because obviously players tend to it's a mixed balance between they enjoy it or they don't enjoy it. So yeah, um, I quite like practicing, especially when I do match practice. But practicing on my own, I set up all different routines so I don't get bored. Yeah. So uh, we've got another question here. Um, what player uh, would you like to play uh, that is on the tour now or someone from the past years that you would like to, to play? What player that's on the tour now? Women's or men's? Women's or men's? Oh, I'll, I'll do women's and men's. I want to play Rianne. Yep. Rianne. I haven't got the chance to play her yet. We're always in different sides of the draw. So um, I'd love to play her. And then men's, it'll have to be Ronnie. Yeah. Ronnie. But Ronnie and um, I've had the chance to play Mark Selby before. That was an experience. Yeah, it was an exhibition night. I got to play him, and uh, yeah, that was a good experience. And how, how did that go? How, how, um, uh... Well, I got a, I got a few like I did it twice. So um, I got a few points the first time, and then the second time it was just jittery. I think because it was in Leicester. Mm. He, um, he smashed the balls up, um, but none of the balls went where I wanted. <laughs> so uh, I, I tried my hardest, but obviously Mark Selby won, being yeah. Mark Selby. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got another question here, which is, in the terms of creating the perfect snooker player, which player do you think is the best in each of these areas? Um, so we'll start with the first one, which is single ball potting. So who, who do you think is the best in that area? Um, in the best in single ball potting, um, I'll give you three and then I'll think. Uh, Ronnie, Judd and Lazowski at the minute. And I think, well, Ronnie, but Judd Trump is just unbelievable at the minute. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Some of the shots that he's playing at the moment is just unbelievable. He's power as well. He's yeah. Q power. Yeah. I'd love to have it. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> And we're, the other one is, is cue ball control. So who do you think is, is the best with their cue ball control? Um, around the pink and black area, Mark Allen and Ding John Wee <laughs> a lot. And um, around that area, um, Judd Trump, Ronnie. But I'd have to say, out of all of them that I like watching, um, it'd have to be Ding John Wee. He's just around that area. He's just so precise all the time. Yeah, definitely. The other one is Q power, which I think we've just touched on anyway. Yeah, Judd. So got to be, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. And break building. Break building. Uh, Neil Robertson, I think yeah. his head is so still all the time on every shot. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. especially this this year, this season, he's just been phenomenal. Uh, yeah, uh, been, he's been a good player to watch as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, safety play. Selby, <laughs> he never gives up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll have to be, it'll have to be Selby for that. Yeah, definitely. And then temperament. Um, temperament. Obviously, Selby just never gives up. And then Kyron Wilson's a good player for that as well. He just, yeah. he's, he, he'll be, um, he'll win a good few titles, I think, soon. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, we we saw him at the Worlds. It was very unlucky, obviously. Very yeah, he was. He just but... came up to an unbelievable Ronnie. Um, but the the thing with him is, is that he's he's come back from obviously um, yeah. going, you know, have a sideline job working in bars and things like yeah. that. So I think definitely he's he's one one to come in in the next definitely. year. Definitely, he has a good coach behind him, Barry Stark. Yeah, hundred yeah, uh, percent. Yeah. We've got another question here, which is. How old were you when you realised that snooker was your passion, um, and is it something that you're considering um, that you were considering to start um, since you were a child? 
Um, about 14, 15, I think, when I decided I wanted to play. And then I always used to go down with my brother and my dad. We'd always used to have a game and that. Mm. And then um, I found out about the ladies tour. Um, I joined about three, four years ago now. Okay. So um, I'm loving that at the minute. And like I, I'm giving my goal. I'm giving me goals every every season to achieve. Yeah. Like I want to get to. I've got to the last sixteen all the time. I want to get to a main quarterfinal or semis. Mm -hmm. That'll be good. Yeah, definitely. And with with targets for for next year, so twenty twenty one. Obviously, hopefully, it's it's a, a better year for for us all. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, you know, we clubs can start to open and it becomes a bit more easier for people starting off or people that just like to go and, and you know hit a few balls around the yeah. table. What are your um, top three goals? And, top three and, goals? Yeah. Um, uh, to get to a quarterfinal or semi is up there. Um, and then around it, practice more because um, with COVID and that, I haven't been able to like mm. practice a lot that I used to do. I used to be there nearly every day practicing after work. Um, and then the third, um, oh, that's a hard one. Um, third will be probably to mainly win like one side event, like the Challenge Cup we always used to have. We always uh, have as well to win that as well. Yeah. So, so obviously, next year is going to be obviously a busy year for you. Yeah. New definitely. job. Obviously, trying to maintain the, the snooker on the side as well. Yeah. Is there anyone that you would like to to get in additionally to to your team, so around you that support you within snooker, um, that you would like to add um, to to support you, whether that's sponsors or different. Yeah, packages. I want to get I want to get a sponsor in because um, it's kind of hard at the minute, especially when we're travelling and that. It's kind of hard. So yeah, um, get a good sponsorship. I think would be my for a goal for 2021 as well. Yeah, definitely. Well, I don't know if you saw yesterday. Or we had a, a video out um, yesterday, and uh, there was a bit of talk on there about. Um, snooker sponsorships and, and yeah. what they've done um, to, to get those sponsors so definitely check that out um, yeah, hopefully that may help help you out as well um, for next year in, in obtaining some sponsors yeah. um, the last thing that I, I wanted to bring up and now yeah. this, is, this is totally not snooker related <laughs> but it was a question that came in so yeah. I'm going to have to to ask it well, um, snooker yeah. or McFly Snooker any day. <laughs> Sorry, snooker. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember who that came in from, but but um, it was one that that I remembered that come in. So um, yeah, yeah, it's definitely snooker. Yeah. I put that as my number one. Number one. Okay. Yeah. Well, hopefully none of the the McFly lot are, are watching this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they they probably will be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. I really appreciate your time answering the questions coming on today. Um, and I do wish you all the best for the next year. Um, and if there's anything that we can do here at Viking Sports, then obviously do let us know and we can definitely see what we can do to put you in contact with anyone um, and just uh, keep getting your name out there to, to help you. Um, for yeah, the thank you very much. No worries. Enjoy the snooker this afternoon. All right. Thanks. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.